Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you another logo design project, including pricing, idea generation, sketching, vectorizing and presentation to the client, so let's get started. Okay, some days ago, I get a new message to my mailbox, his name is Nico, and he asked me for a logo design project, as you can see his company name is Duckist Business, they are basically provide duck meat to the clients, he wants some concept based on duck or a combination of letter D and B. So after some discussion about the project details we both agreed, with the price 550 US dollars, and send him an invoice. Okay, now let's start with some mind mapping, our logo name is Duckist Business. And business category is Duck Meat Supplier. From the Duckist Business, Duck is the most common thing, so we can take that as a concept. As this is a meat supplier business, we can use a piece of meat as well as a concept. We can use initial letter D too. A combination of letter D, and B looks good ideas to me. We will try many more keywords, as much as we can, to get unexpected ideas. From all of this we will mix up letter D with duck as a concept, so let's jump into the internet and get some more ideas. Go to the search bar and search by duck. Click on images. This one can be a good inspiration image, let's find out some more by searching duck logo. We will combine letter D with duck, so let's search by letter D too. Okay, now let's sketch some ideas into Photoshop, you can use pen and paper if you don't have drawing pad. First, we are trying to do some sketch based on duck. Then we will combine letter D with the duck. In this stage, no need to be perfect on drawing, just fearlessly draw, what you have in mind. In drawing, nothing is better than the first attempt. So you have to try for sure, no worry what it will look like, it will be better soon. On this concept, we will try to combine letter D with duck, let's see what it will look like. I plan to publish a full logo design guide series, so if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribe. Okay, this is the four concept, we have done for this client, from this four, we will digitalize this concept. So let's jump into the illustrator and start to develop this concept. First select this drawing image, set the opacity 50%, then go to the object, lock, and click on selection, so that we can not move this. Set a brighter color, 
to have a better look. Then press Ctrl R to activate Roller Guide. Drag horizontal line, and align with our sketch line like me. Make two rectangle between this three guides. Then select this two rectangle, drag and copy, and place it above this line, and then rotate it to 90 degrees. Again, drag the horizontal roller guide, and align it with this rectangle. Now delete this. Now drag a vertical line, and align it with end line of the logo. Take the rectangle tool again, and draw a shape between this two guide. Rotate it, and place it here. Drag the vertical line again, and align it with this rectangle. Take the rectangle tool and draw a shape between this two guide. Rotate that, and place it here, and then take a vertical line again, and align it with the sketch line. Now set the color full black. Take the rectangular tool and draw it between this two grid, also set the opacity 50%, so that we can better understand. Draw a rectangle in between the above line also. And then a vertical rectangle in the end of the grid. Now select this three shape, take the shape builder tool, then delete the outside shape by pressing Alt from the keyboard, and then unite the shape from the Pathfinder tool. By pressing minus from the keyboard, delete this anchor point as well. Now with the direct selection tool, select this two anchor point, and rounded it. Do the same this part as well. With Rectangle tool again, we will fill up this space. And then rounded the corner. That's great, now take the Line Segment tool, and draw a bending line here, we will cut off the unusual shape by this bending line. Select this two shape with the line together, then take the shape builder tool, and delete the unusual shape from here by pressing out from the keyboard. Select this two anchor point, and rounded it. Ok, that's look cool, now we will work on the head part, to do this we will use pen tool. First click on this point, and then this point, and drag it to get a good curve line. I will make a video based on how you can be master on pen tool, so keep connected with me by considering subscribing to my channel. Press Ctrl and Y, to activate Outline Mode to see if they are all together, or not. Ok, 
Now select everything, take the shape, build a tool, and delete this unusual part by pressing Alt from the keyboard, and then unite everything from the path finder tool. That's great, now turn off the drawing layer, our shape is ready to be used, now let's try some typography, then we will use gradient color on it. Okay, first press letter T to activate text tool, and then write duckest business. Then go to the corrector panel, and select the font poppins. We can thinner the business line, to give a better feel. Smaller down a bit. Next, drag two vertical guide after the duckest text. Then increase the tracking of the business text. Now try to adjust the text with the logo. Yes, this looks good to me, now let's experiment with some other font. Let's try with Ubuntu font. Okay, this is some variation of the font. From all of this, Poppins looks perfect to me, so let's take this and start coloring on it. That's great, this is the color we are going to use on this video, first select the main shape, go to the gradient panel, click on gradient, then select one side of this gradient, take the eyedropper tool, and pick the first color. Do the same with the other corner as well. Take the gradient tool and draw it from up to down. Now we will give a shadow into the logo, to do that take the pen tool, and draw a shape here like me. Let's color the shape with white, to make you better understand. Then take the shape builder tool, and delete the unusual part. Now select the white shape, go to the gradient panel, click on gradient, one side of the color make darker, and other side of the color make the opacity zero. Take the gradient tool, and adjust the color direction a little bit. Now let me show you, how to give it a good glassy effect, to do that take the pen tool, and draw a line to the up of the logo. Swap it from fill to stroke. And increase the stroke size a bit. Then change the width profile. Go to the effect, then blur and click on Gaussian Blur. Then play with the radius a bit, and click OK. That's perfect, now let's presentation it with some mock-up, and send it to the client. OK, so this is our final design presentations what I send to the clients, and client liked it, and he gives me some tips as well. Okay, now it's time to give you some practice, take a screenshot of this frame and paste it on Illustrator, and design some logo by your own based on this sketches, and post it on our Facebook group, you will get the Facebook group in the description box, thank you very much for your attention, if you have any question, let me know via comment section, I will answer it as soon as possible, if you did not subscribe yet, 
please consider subscribe, and leave a like, see you in the very next video. Have a great day.